Coming up on this week's news, people should know, 51 die inside of a trailer, five signs of dehydration, man paralyzed by police, and a carnival cruise fight. Welcome, I am Jolay Nance. All aboard for mayhem on the dance floor. Magic didn't last long for a carnival cruise ship. An eight day at sea trip could have resulted in the chaos between two guests inside of one of the many clubs on the ship. The incident not only involved a number of guests at the quote unquote nightclub. The fight had bad, was bad enough for the Coast Guard to be called along with the onboard security team to stop other club cruisers joining in on the fun. Thankfully, no serious injuries were reported and surprisingly, no arrests. Speaking on arrest, a Connecticut man was paralyzed after hitting his head while being handcuffed inside of the paddy wagon. Richard Randy Cox, 36, was arrested for possession of a firearm without a permit while at a public party. Five New Haven police officers are under investigation while on a paid administrative leave. These officers did not display the quote-unquote high standards of which the police department consider themselves to be. They are still being paid even though they did not treat Richard Cox with dignity or even providing him with safety. After a sudden stop made him slide off the bench and hit his head which resulted in paralysis. This week in health news, it is extremely hot. So whenever going outside, here are five ways to know you are dehydrated. If you are experiencing a dry mouth and skin, are having headaches and dizzy spells, feel like you got fever and chills like the flu. If you feel a rapid heartbeat and breathing, and if you have muscle cramps, the answer is to drink water 10 to 15 minutes of physical activity. Just drinking more water and less sugary drinks may help battle dehydration. Stay tuned to the next health tip, decision fatigue. This is major news. 51 people found dead inside of an abandoned semi-trailer in San Antonio, Texas. This feels like foul play to me. The tractor trailer did not have any air. If you know anything about Texas heat, you know that you are committing suicide in any vehicle without air. Good news is the driver and two other people were arrested for the murder of these innocent people. Now the truck passed through a border patrol checkpoint, yet the driver claims that he didn't know the migrants were inside the truck when it cleared that checkpoint. The 51 dead bodies were discovered on the outskirts of San Antonio, where a city worker heard the cry for help from inside the truck, parked on a lonely back road. If that doesn't sound like foul play, I don't know what else it could be. On the right side, that cry for help that came from a dozen people, including four children. Leave your comments of, on any of the stories below. Thanks for watching News People Should Know. I'm Jolay Nance. Be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Comment, share, and make sure you hit the bell. You can send an email to upixo at gmail.com.